there are a few shortcuts that I use all the time when it comes to working with execution plans. I love execution plans in SQL Server and they can help you figure out, hey, what the heck is going on in my query? We are in that wide world importer sample database and we're gonna look at some execution plans, this time for a stored procedure. Now, this is another time where I can look at my quick info command, which I'm a huge fan of. We saw it in a previous demo when it came to telling us about the columns in a table. But let's say we wanna run this procedure. Well, the procedure, I can, if I just hover over the name, if I'm using the mouse, I can get a little info, but this isn't even a, a complete message. It just says, well, I, you haven't provided last cutoff. Well. Are there more parameters? If I just have my mouse anywhere on the procedure name and I do control K and then control I, I can get a tooltip and let's see if we can get it and zoom at the right time. There we go. We can use zoom in at the right time to get it in a readable fashion. It now tells me control K and control I, uh, there's two parameters, last cutoff and new cutoff, and it even gives me their data types. I love it, I love it. So that control K, control I, really, really useful for getting information. Well, now that I know what parameters to use, I can actually set them up. And let's say I wanna know, SQL Server, what kind of execution plan would you make for this without executing it? I can get an estimated execution plan by doing just control L. Now this is the equivalent of this button here at the top. It's sort of like a little thought bubble and then an execution plan is I think what the drawing is. And it says that I'm supposed to use control shift alt L. We've always been able to use control L and it still works for some reason. Management studios just started suggesting this more complex one. So I'm just gonna do control L. Now, right away, I've said, what if you were to run? Right away, it generates that plan and shows it to me. The estimated plan isn't completely identical as the actual plan. You'll notice that they're gonna look kind of different. In the estimated plan, I have an outer block at the top just for executing the procedure. And then I get information about the procedure in a second pane. And I have information about set on off. Well, here's something cool. They gave us an execution plan recently. I can now click and drag. So I just clicked on the back of the plan and I can drag it over and look at different parts of it. I can also zoom in and out by holding down the control key and using my mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. And as soon as I hover over anything, I get a tool tip, of course. But this can actually be kind of cool for very gradual, you know, using a very granular adjustment on your zoom and then kind of dragging it over. I think that the click and drag works really nicely with the zoom and I love that they gave us those features. So that's estimated plans, which is control L. Control M is a little different. Control M toggles actual execution plans, but I only get an actual execution plan when I execute a query. My button for actual plans is up here and it is not currently enabled. Notice that it is not highlighted. It's you know just to the right of my IntelliSense button. And there's no little thought bubble next to this plan. This is the actual plan. And so I'm gonna do Control M and there's a slight delay and then it highlights this. So I can hit it again and it'll you know, turn it off. I can toggle between on and off. So control M, now it's off. Control M, now it's on again. So real easy to flip it on and off. And now nothing happens until I execute. I'm gonna hit control E because I'm not an F5er, I'm a control e -er. And now I get the results of my query because you know I have to execute it <laughs> as well as that execution plan. It does look different. I don't have that like outer stored procedure one now. I've just got you know the select query in the, the guts or the, the important 
internal part of the <laughs> stored procedure. Again, I can click and drag. I can control and mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out. Very, very cool. And I always try to remember to toggle my execution plans off if I'm not gonna use them because sometimes you can get, especially if you accidentally run something that has looping code inside of it, you could get a crazy explosion of actual plans if you accidentally leave them on. So real easy to control M and toggle that off again.